Okay, this part was windy, but welcome to Bien Mike or Mike Beach in Da Nang, one of the main beaches here in the coastal city. There is an abundance of hotels here which cover all budgets, ranging from a £5 a night hostels, the cheap £10 to £20 hotels, all the way to the 5 star £100 to £150 a night plus hotels here. When you're visiting Da Nang, you really do have excellent choices regarding your stay. Mike is closer to the city centre, but non nook Beach mostly has the high-end 5 star resort hotels like the Vin Po Hotel, and in future videos I will be showing you this. But in this video, I will walk along the beach in real time with commentary, uh, with no edits. This was during May 2022. I hope you enjoy this peaceful walk from the comfort of your sofa. So perhaps you've got some holiday blues or you're looking to go to Da Nang. Just imagine yourself being here. So here is the walking tour of the Mi Ke, Mi Ke Bien. Or the Mi Ke Beach. Be careful when he steps. I've got to say, this, this beach is lovely. I've always read online that this beach is really touristy and yeah it is fairly busy but it's not absolutely packed but like if you go to a beach in England on a Friday or Saturday afternoon when it's even like 20 degrees plus your Brightons your Bournemouths your South End on the seas it's absolutely packed you have to spend if you live in the Midlands like me you have to drive all the way to the beach then you got to find parking, which costs £10 sometimes. Then you've got to find a spot to actually sit down and relax. And by the time you've done all that, it's sometimes it can be stressful going to the beach, I think. But look, look how lovely this beach is here. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this edited or, un or uh, unedited. Not sure what to talk about so at some points I may not say anything I just want you to see and feel what I'm feeling and seeing right now hopefully of course it's hard through the lens of a camera but look there's a red flag there so no swimming at the moment I think is it wait there's people in the seas let's have a look let's have a look because I'm sure that red flag is a universal sign that you can't swim anywhere at the beach. Yeah, there's no swimming. Yeah, over there, there's people in there. See, I'm I'm a pretty decent swimmer. I did used to be a lifeguard in America and Canada. But if there's a sign that, that says no swimming, you gotta respect the sea. Because a few weeks ago, when I was in Galar Beach, really sad news. The day I was there, somebody had drowned and died at the sea. You cannot underestimate the waves. Yes, the tide is coming back towards the beach, but it only takes a few seconds of... Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it, but... Anyway, just... If you see the red flags, I'd, I'd recommend just keeping to the advice. That's what the lifeguards say, right? But if we go directly ahead, this is the main city centre area. But just look how beautiful this beach is. You've got your sea to the right. You've got your beautiful mountains ahead of you. And you've got a few, well, I'd call them skyscrapers. People in America wouldn't call these skyscrapers. But in England, well, I'm not from London, but there's no skyscrapers in Leicester. Look at this massive hole. <laughs> okay, this is weird. So there are red flags here, but there's one, two, three, four lifeguards. Maybe this area is okay to swim, and that's why there's people there. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, look how many empty 
like sunbathing beds or lounges there are. It does look cloudy on the video, but I assure you it is really sunny. And I took that for granted the other day. I didn't put any sun cream on my back. And when I went swimming in the swimming pool for three hours, I burned. I became a lobster. In fact, I'm quite tanned or darker now than I normally am. I get a bit, what's the word? Um, too confident, too cocky that I'm gonna take the sun okay without any sun cream or protection just because I, my skin tone is a li little bit darker. But no, wear your sun cream. Even if it's not sunny, the, the rays are so strong and they will burn you. Because you're not, I'm not used to it in England. Uh, look, what I've noticed about this beach and the city in general is that it is so clean compared to Hanoi or uh, Saigon, but Hanoi, when I lived there for six months, it is a great city. It's busy. It's like you, you know, your Londons of the world. Busy, busy, busy. Which for me, I'm, I don't know if I like. Well, sometimes I like to be in a busy city. But then you come to a place like Da Nang or Gala, this coastal city. It's just so relaxing, it's, it's brilliant. So I think these lines, what are these lines on the floor? Oh, it's just to signal a safe swimming area, maybe? I'm really not sure. But look how nice the beach is, the waves. I sort of want to go closer, but I don't have any, um, I don't have a towel on me right now. I'm actually stupidly, haven't got my sandals. So I want to walk on the beach with bare foot, but no, not in this video. Uh, this guy's from Australia. Australian t-shirt. This looks like a fancy hotel. Also, anyone got any tips for how to stabilize videos? I mean, I'm literally got a two pound selfie stick and my iPhone 12. I'm just holding it. I don't know if there's any stabilization software or what. Like I said, I am absolute novice to YouTube but it makes me happy that I can bring videos to people back in England or wherever about Vietnam because when I speak to my friends or people I've just met and I don't know the Vietnam topic comes up yes people have heard of Vietnam and they know the pho and the bad me and the, you know they know that about there was a war here, but that's not what Vietnam is about now. That was such a long time ago. Vietnam is a young country. Its economy is just going up and up and up. I mean, just look at these buildings, look at these hotels. If I compare to England, for example, I went to the dentist the other day and the dentist in Vietnam absolutely amazing compared to my regular dentist the best shopping centers I've ever been in was in um, Hanoi the Vincom no the Royal City one the one that's underground that's massive that has an underground cinema an underground ice skating rink Leicester has High Cross which is great but what I'm trying to say is Vietnam is a great country some people see Vietnam as, oh, it's a poor country, it's a third world. Yes, compared to the UK in terms of monetary value, yes, it is. 
it's not as rich as the UK. But look at these, look at the cities like Da Nang or Hanoi or Saigon. Wow, I don't know if you can see, but the waves, if you go further, it's like a different contrast of blue. You've got a darker blue at the start of where the waves hit the beach and then the further on is the lighter blue. It's really, really lovely. But wow, this beach goes on for miles and miles. Look, that's got to be at least seven or eight miles that way. I've been walking for 12 minutes. And then if we pan round, I don't know if you can see, but my resort, or the resort I stayed at, the Vinpearl, was about 12 kilometers that way. This beach is, I thought Galar Beach was the nicest beach I've ever been to, but my God, this beach is the nicest beach I've ever been to. And you can see why it's, it gets rated as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. So I'm so lucky and fortunate to be here right now in this tropical, tropical country. My motherland, my fatherland. I'm extremely lucky. So look, there's more, lots of people lounging about now. I think this, this section of the beach is a bit more popular. Oh, but I'm in the direct sun now and my face is burning. I'm looking forward to hitting that shade part in a minute. And, oh my God, these new trainers I've got. From Nike, Nike. Full of sun right now. What an idiot, who goes to the beach wearing trainers? Here we go, the shade is here in a minute. Second. Oh, I can see a huge, is that my, my long distance, my long eyesight, dis, nah, my long distance eyesight isn't the best. I do need glasses when I drive sometimes, but I think that looks like a humongous volleyball. Oh, beach volleyball must be amazing here. I've run out of words to describe this beach. This beach is amazing. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's marvelous. It's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I've run out of superlatives. Is that the word? It's like when the pundits describe Lionel Messi or Ronaldo. They, 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 they always say, oh, I've run out of superlatives to describe Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. It's the same here, the beach. I just, I just love this beach too much. I don't want to go home. Look at it. It's more life now, more people. It's 4 p.m., just gone 4 p.m. This has got to be one of the best walks I've ever, I've ever had. And this wonderful beach. Because I don't go to the beach very often. Something I am taking in right now, enjoying the moment. You never know in life if you, if I'll ever be here again. I hope to. Vietnam, 2022. Look at it. Stunning. I am going to walk towards the shade. Oh, lifeguard is saying, get out, get out. You can't swim. Okay, so those red flags, maybe I got that wrong because there's people swimming all over and there's yet red flags. Look, there's absolutely tons of people swimming over there. 
Yeah, I'm going towards the shade. I'm burning my face off right now. I hope these videos are relaxing and informative. I'm always conscious that my voice is pretty boring, pretty monotone, you know? So when I went to Canada or America, their accents are so happy and everyone seems so, so enthusiastic. Whereas my voice, is it the English voice in general? The British accent? Or is it just me? I don't know, I've got a monotone voice. Very boring. So these videos hope to be informative, but relaxing. So perhaps you've got some holiday blues or you're looking to go to Da Lang. You can just watch this video from the comfort of your sofa and just imagine yourself being here. That's the aim anyway, to give advice about Vietnam and compare to England from an English Vietnamese person and a British Vietnamese perspective. Ooh, I've been walking for 18 minutes now. I'm a bit closer to these hotels. Got some nice artwork to the left. Some whales. And... What's worth a whale in Vietnamese? I'm not sure. Crap, I don't know. Here we go, there's more people here. I'm gonna have to switch arms. There we go, left, oh, my right hand was, arm was aching low it's holding this. But watch it be really wobbly now with my left hand. The sea breeze right now is feels so nice. Yeah, map map base of Vietnam. Yeah, more hoi nhiều. Yeah, nóng quá ở Việt Nam. Việt Nam ở 30 độ C, 32 độ C, 36 độ C. Ôi rồi ôi, ở nước Anh 10 16 độ C, 17. Lạnh á, không nó. Right, more people now. 20 minutes in. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. I don't know how long I'm going to continue filming for. What have I not talked about, don't I? So it is, oh, so yeah, so what I've learned do not go to the beach. Well, you can. You can go to the beach at 12pm or 1pm. But don't expect too many people here. Vietnamese people do not want to be in the sun at 1pm. So you may find more international people here. But now, 4pm, 5pm, 6pm, still sunlight. It's really cool as well. It's not your 33, your 34 degrees Celsius right now. It's 28, 29. That sounds hot still, in England it is baking, but with the sea breeze, it is really cool right now, it is really cool. Look at it, it is lovely jumbling. There's people taking photos, enjoying the scenery, in their dresses. 
couples, families, enjoying their time, kids, your photographers going around trying to get some, some pictures. Wow, it is. It's nice, it's nice man. Danang, 2022. I think this is going to be a wrap because I'm not going to be able to walk all the way down over there. It's going to take me a couple of hours probably. It is a huge beach. But hopefully this has given you an insight into what Danang can offer in terms of its beach. It can offer world-class beaches. It can offer amazing food at an affordable price from English money to Vietnamese money and you come in 2022 from May onwards it's not that busy really so if you like the video please like it please subscribe because I'll be bringing more videos to to my channel I'm a brand new channel I don't know anything about YouTube so as much support and guidance and videos shared or videos or channel subscribers likes comments let me know and i'll let you know my thoughts or if you have any questions please let me know anyway peace out peace out